Gap risk is one of the most challenging risks to manage. Gaps occur when the market opens away from the closing price of the previous session. Company earnings, elections, disasters, unexpected monetary stimulus can all cause gaps. Why are they a major risk? Two main reasons. Gap past stop loss order and gap past entry intended price. With gap past stop loss, the most important when it comes to risk management. With a stop loss, you know exactly how much you stand to lose. But if the market gaps across your stop loss, it could result in a larger loss than expected. For example, you buy a stock at, say, £30. You put your stop loss order at 25 If the price drops to 25 that's where you'd be stopped out, losing £5. But if some event occurs overnight and it opens at £15, your stop loss won't be executed at 25 but here at £15, giving you a loss of £15 per share. Now, there are a number of ways that you can limit the risks associated with gapping. They include attaching a guaranteed stop. This puts an absolute limit on your potential loss, but you can only add one to a new trade, not an existing trade, and they're subject to an additional charge. Avoid holding positions over potentially volatile weekends, like the Greek elections. And unless you're trading earning expectations, avoid holding positions ahead of earnings. You can also purchase a put option. In the event it gaps lower, your option contract should make up for the loss from an underlying stock. At IG, our risk management tools can help to protect you from sudden market movements and gaps and to lock in profits when the market moves in your favour. For more information on the different types of gaps, check out Josh Mahoney's video, How to Trade a Gap in Technical Analysis.